What's up party people and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a journey that I've been on for the past few months of trying to grow my lashes and the one product that I've been using to help me do that. But before we move forward, before we even get into the video, I do wanna disclose that this is a sponsored video, but if you guys have been around here for a while, you'll know that I am 100% honest, 100% of the time, I take sponsorships very, very seriously whenever I do accept them. I do very rigorous testing and I don't work with brands that are crappy. I don't work with brands that tell me what to say or, oh, talk about this, talk about the, the you had this struggle and you were experiencing this and now because of this product or not. No, I only work with brands that give me the freedom to say, whatever I feel. But back in May, I was contacted by this brand called LeVay Cosmetics and the brand owner whose name is Marissa, I don't know if it's Marissa or Marissa, I'm gonna call her Marissa, but she reached out to me and let me know that they were coming out with a new lash growth serum and she gave me her testimony and her story and so much information, like very, very forthcoming and very confident about her product. Around that time, I started noticing that my lashes just weren't doing what they used to do. You know, a mixture of stress and hormonal imbalances they've been, it's been throwing my hair and everything else off. Like you guys probably been noticing I've been breaking out really bad and I've even been experiencing hair loss, which is so scary. So I'm going to pop up a picture of the first day that I started using this, what my lashes look like. This is June 16th. You'll probably see that there are some gaps and my lashes just look very short and stumpy and just not very, not very pleasing to look at. That was why I became interested in the product and that's why this is the first serum that I've ever used. But yeah, here's what the product looks like. It comes in a box like this. It's called Show Lash. They're exclusive to Amazon and actually they've dropped their price since they even sent this to me. Whenever they first sent it to me, it was $65. It's now $50. It's just your typical like, like brush tip applicator. It kind of looks like an eyeliner and you're just supposed to put this on at night once a day. It's not something you have to put on morning and night. I've been testing this product out for three months now. It is September 17th and long story long. This has actually worked really well for me and the proof is in the pudding. I feel like my lashes are finally back to normal and I've already ordered my second bottle. I started noticing a very small difference around four weeks. I started noticing that there were definitely lashes growing. Like I could, I could see lashes growing in places that they weren't before. And I could kind of see the gaps that I had filling back out. And they actually do say that you're supposed to see results between four and eight weeks, but to get like the full extent of what it can do, you're not going to see results until like two or three months, um, until probably until the end of the, your, your first bottle, you know, two months is when I started seeing, okay, like, my lashes are getting a lot more dense. They're growing really, really well. The gaps are filling up, but now I don't see any gaps. I wouldn't say my lashes are super long still because I mean, my lashes, like, like I said, they're just, they're naturally not super long. But I feel like if I keep using it, I'm gonna see more of the length department because I feel like up to this point, it's been filling in the gaps and like trying to rebuild. On my lower lashes, I can see a huge difference. Like they are so much more long and they're actually a little bit darker as well. And I, I don't think it's like, it's not changing the color of my hair or anything. It's just, I don't know, they're just, they're, mo they're more noticeable now. And for a while I started noticing, especially on my left eye, like on the outer, like on the outer half of my lashes, it's like whenever I'd put on mascara, there was nothing there. It would just be hitting skin. Like it was almost like there were no lashes there. And now they're so much more full. I have so many more lashes on the lower lash line now. And now that I see, how many I have and what they look like now. It's just like, oh dang, I didn't even realize that was a problem. And I have been inconsistent, but I have put it on my brow some too. I've really been working on like bringing my brows inward a little bit, like kind of bringing the inner portion closer together. And it gets so tempting to just like tweeze and pluck because they grow so sporadically and it's just like one or two at a time and you can't get fullness for the first time in a really long time. And I didn't even realize it until like a month or so ago. They're very full. It's not just one or two little brow hairs here and there. It's like, they've been brought more inward because of this stuff. But what I do each night after my skincare is I'll basically use one dip for each eye and just apply it like eyeliner. So I would go in, I would, you know, apply it mostly to the top lash line. That's what I'm more concerned with. And with whatever's left over on the brush, I apply it to the lower lash line as well. It dries really, really fast. It doesn't burn, it doesn't irritate, it doesn't make my eyes water or anything. But whenever I first started reading about this and reading the instructions and stuff, it says on here to not use on lower lashes. And that was kind of concerning to me because I thought, okay, why can't I use on the lower lashes? Is there, is there something in here that's, you know, gonna 
irritate my eyes if I use it on the, the lower lash line or what. So I actually contacted them and asked them, you know, what's the deal? And she actually said that it's completely safe and it's completely fine to put on your lower lashes. They just put that disclaimer on here just because people are more prone to poking themselves and getting product in their eye, just being a little bit more like willy-nilly with the brush whenever it comes to the lower lashes. It's just, it's just closer to the eyeball. So they just put that on there as a safety precaution, like as a warning, like, you know, don't poke yourself in the eye. So they say that if you just use this on your lashes, it should last three or four months. But if you're also putting it on your brows and you're double dipping and using, using more than what you really need, you're gonna use it up a lot faster. So probably more towards like the two or three month mark. So just something I wanna point out because it's very easy to do and it could 100% happen to you. Whenever I'm actually applying it, you know, you kind of get, in the, it's kind of like applying mascara. Like everything, you, you, like you just black out. So I would be applying it and my hand would just kind of start relaxing and tilting. And two or three different times, I actually poured some out. So I wasted a lot of product. So this probably would have lasted me a whole lot longer, but because of my own accord and my own negligence, it just kind of like, so yeah, this was developed by three medical doctors and five scientists. So I thought that was important because it's actually developed by professionals. It's cruelty free. It's made in a US FDA approved lab. And their whole goal and their whole mission was to create a product that actually worked, that was really effective, that had all the, you know, all the beneficial effective ingredients as the expensive stuff, but at a cheaper price. And she has repeatedly told me, like they have really, really like, they're very, very confident about this, that it contains the only clinically proven ingredient that is shown and proven to work in growing lashes. And that's, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm just gonna, it's called prostaglandin, I believe. So she did say there were only five brands that contain that prostaglandin ingredient. She said Revita Lash, Babe Lash, Grande Lash, Latisse, which is prescription, and Ronin Fields. So I actually did a little research and I looked at the ingredients of each one of these just briefly. And also just, I wrote down the prices. So Revita Lash is 150, Babe Lash is 120, Grande Lash is 65, so it's it's the cheapest one on here. Latisse is 180 with prescription, and Ronin Fields is 155, and they all contain known irritants. And something that I noticed in a lot of them was that they all had some kind of alcohol in them. So the main ingredients in here and the ones that are actually proven to work in growing your lashes are peptides, collagen, pumpkin seed extract, vitamin B7, hyaluronic acid, and then the prostaglandin, which she said is it has many different names. And she says that they actually source their prostaglandin from Germany. So it's very, very high quality. It's very high grade. And she says it's expensive to produce, which is why so many of these lash serums are so expensive. There's only nine ingredients in the show lash, like nine ingredients. That's a very, very short list. And you can actually read it. They always say, if you can't read it, be leery of it. Um, and something that I noticed in all the other lash serums on the market, you know, not to knock them, but there was, it was a very, very long, list of ingredients and a lot of chemicals. I mean, they pretty much all had the same kind of ingredients, like the, the base ingredients. A lot of them had the hyaluronic acid. A lot of them have the pumpkin seed extract. They have the peptides and collagen and stuff like that. So this seems to be a simplified version of all those expensive ones. So now I'm gonna share with you guys the before and afters and the process, the journey of growing my lashes. So just to show you proof of the date is September 17th. So today is when I took my three month pictures. And the reason I chose three months is because that's when they say you're supposed to see the most results. I see a difference not just whenever I'm looking up close my bare lashes, like without mascara or anything on, like my lashes just look so much more full and voluminous, like I said, and they definitely have improved in length. Like there are some that whenever I look up, like there's a couple that touch my eyelid. Like I, I feel like the road is very promising. Like I'm, I'm extremely confident in what this stuff can do. So yeah, that is it for my journey and my experience and review of this lash serum. And I'm very, very happy with it. And like I said, I will give you guys updates in a few months once I finish my second bottle. Just keep in mind, everything works differently for everyone. Something that works for me may not work for you. And if you've got a damaged hair follicle, you're not gonna grow hair at all. Like if you've got places that there's just, there's not a hair follicle or it's been damaged somehow, some way, you're not gonna grow any more hair there. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up if you found it informative and helpful. And subscribe to my channel and turn your bell on so that you never miss an upload. And I will see you guys in my next one. Mwah.